Clark County Sheriff's deputy and his wife. They have just returned home from the hospital. We know that their three-year-old son was taken in late last night. Yeah, police tell us that that little boy shot himself, shot himself in the head. K2's Valerie Hurst is live at the scene as the information about this boy is coming in. Valerie? Well, Carl, a deputy here on the scene is the one who confirmed that the parents are home at this time. He said they came home because they have three other kids. They needed to come home and check on them. Now, they're not releasing the boy's condition at this hour, but the family does plan to make a statement later on today. That's what we're told. Now, we have video here of the mother getting out of a car here at the house in Battleground. It looks like she was carrying some blankets in her arms. She hugs a man waiting on the curb there. A police are investigating how this three-year-old got his hands on a gun. We're told the sheriff's deputy was home at the time of the shooting. Police say this happened around 10 last night. The three-year-old apparently shot himself in the head and he was treated here at the house and then he was rushed over to the hospital. Um, it is not confirmed at this time if the weapon that the child used uh, belonged to his father as in his service weapon. So still a lot of questions here this morning. The most important one is how this little boy is doing. We're still waiting on that. those details from Clark County Sheriff's uh, Department. We're live in battle Ground, Valerie Hurst, K2 News. Valerie, thank you. This is not the first shooting incident in Battleground involving a child of a Clark County Sheriff's deputy. In 2003, Matthew Randall accidentally shot and killed his 10 year old sister, Emily, with their father's service gun. Sergeant Craig Randall left the gun on a shelf in his bedroom when he left his home. Matthew was sentenced to four years in prison for killing his sister. Following that shooting, deputies were uh, issued lock boxes for their guns at home. There is no department rule demanding that they use them. Again, we don't know if this latest shooting involved a service weapon.